In this lesson, we are going to show you how to export and share reports. And even though I really like this feature, I have to be very clear about the fact that this is not an enterprise reporting solution. It has some very nice features, and we are going to look at some additional ones in this lesson. But if your company has more advanced needs, SQL Developer will probably not be enough. So, please keep that in mind. Okay. The first thing we are going to look at here is how you can share your reports definition so that other users that have SQL Developer installed and have access to the database can run them on their machines as well. You have probably noticed that when you right-click on a report name here in the reports tree, you get a contextual menu, which among other things, offers a save as option. This option exports the report definition into an XML file which you can send to your coworkers for them to import it into their SQL developer instance. To import the report, they just have to right-click on the folder into which they want to import it and select the Open Report option. Since the report definition is independent of the database connection, they don't even need to have a connection with the same name as yours because SQL Developer will ask them to select a connection when they run the report. Another interesting thing is that if you right-click on a folder and use the Save As option, the resulting XML file will include all of the reports that the folder includes in a single export file. Okay, you just saw how to share your reports with other people that have SQL Developer installed and have access to the database. But if you usually generate reports with static information, such as Excel files or similar, for other people that doesn't have access to the database, you will probably find what I'm about to show you very interesting. One of the other options we have in the context menu when we right click on a report is HTML. And what it does is that it exports the report to an HTML page that you can send to someone else or put in some network location for others to see. The export creates a folder in which it puts some images, CSS and JavaScript files, and this folder, along with the HTML file itself, contains all of the information included in the report, so anyone can just double-click on the HTML file and see the report's data from anywhere, without needing access to the database. I'm going to show you with my department's report. Here I just have to select the connection I want to use and the path where I want the report to be exported, and that's it. Look at the resulting page. And look at the gauge. It looks as beautiful as it did in SQL Developer. And if I click on the rows in the master report, the gauge actually changes. So, this is a fully functional master detail report. Let's look at another one. Look at this one. Even the mouse pointer changes as I hover over the bars, signaling that I can click on them. Again, I have a beautiful and fully working interactive report that I can send to other people or put on a network folder for them to see. I just have to remember to share the HTML file and the corresponding folder for it to work. So, do you like it or not? Okay, this is not enough. Let me show you something else. SQL Developer has a command line interface, which allows you to do some things without opening the graphic user interface. And one of the things it allows you to do is generating reports in HTML format. Just to clarify things, because this can cause confusion. You may have heard of SQLCL, a standalone application that is also a command line tool to work with a database which supports SQL plus commands and allows you to run queries and all that stuff. That is not the command line interface I'm talking about. I'm talking about another command line interface that is more limited in functionality and is actually an interface that allows you to tell SQL developer to do certain things without using the graphic interface. Jeff Smith, the SQL developer product manager has mentioned that they have plans to unify these two command line interfaces into a single tool but I don't really know when that will happen. Okay, the command line interface executable we will use here is in the bin folder of the SQL developer installation. So, 
If I didn't add the SQL developer path to the operating system's path variable, I have to navigate to its folder, or at least include its full path when invoking the program. So, the syntax for generating HTML reports using the command line interface is this. After the command line interface executable, I have to write reports generate report. And then the name of the report, which in this case is departments. Then I have to add DB and the name of the database connection, which in this case is course, xcpdb1 and then file and the name and path of the destination HTML file, which I'm going to call just departments HTML without a path so that it gets created in the same directory. And that's it. If I did everything right, my report is now ready. Let's see if that is true. Yes. Here it is. Now, why is this so useful? It might be useful because I could automate the generation of my reports. If I use the Windows Task Scheduler to execute this command daily, for example, or I can put the command in a cron job if I'm on Linux, so, my reports could be generated regularly to a predefined location, without any intervention from me, even when I'm not in the office. I think this is very convenient and can be a huge time saver if your job includes generating reports for other people. One small caveat is that this would only work automatically if the password of the connection is saved. Otherwise, it will ask for it and will not run until it is entered. Okay, there is one final trick I want to share with you about reports. I'll see you in the next listen.